Hello dear children. Welcome to the online classes for class 2. Today we will study the second part of the chapter How much can you carry? In the previous video I had taught you the concept of heavy and light and the comparison of two things. So let's have a very short revision of that. Children look at the picture. Can you identify the two animals in the picture? Yes, you are correct. There are two animals and they are elephant and a mouse. Now children, you can see that they are riding a seesaw. So children, can you tell me who is heavier? Yes, you are correct. Elephant is the heavier one. How can you say that? Yes. Elephant is bigger in size than the mouse. Yes. And from the seesaw you can also see that the elephant is heavier enough to pull the side of the seesaw down. You can see that the side where the elephant is sitting is down. So, elephant is heavy. So, in today we will start our chapter with a story. Chotu monkey and the carrots. Children, you can see in the picture there are two rabbits and they are holding a bag of carrots. Yes, rabbits love to eat carrots. And in the picture below it, you can see that there is a monkey sleeping. So, Chicky and Mickey is the name of these rabbits. So, Chicky and Mickey rabbits saw a bag and it had carrots in it. You can see the bag, they are holding it. Yes. Chicky and Mickey started fighting. But what are they fighting for? So, look here. One of them is saying, I will take bigger carrots. The other one is saying, no, I am bigger. So, I will take bigger carrots. So, they are fighting for the carrots. Each one of them want more carrots to eat and bigger carrots to eat. And you can see that the Chotu monkey is watching them. Now Chotu monkey came to help them. He came to them and you can see that he asked them what's the problem. Then they said we want to share the carrots equally between us. But some carrots are big and some are small. How do we do? So the monkey is saying can I help you? And Chotu monkey is helping them. Now look here, Choto monkey brought something to help them. Children, you can see in the picture that there is an empty space in the picture. So you have to tell me which instrument or which things this monkey can use to divide the carrots equally. Think of it. Yes, you are correct. It will use a balance. A balance is called Taraju in Hindi. So, you must have seen a balance. It looks like it. It is a weighing balance. You can see that there are two pans in the weighing balance where objects and the weights can be put. Now, Look here, this is the weighing balance and you can see there are two pans here. So it is also called pan balance. You can also see that there is a pointer at the center. It is at the center. So the pointer is at the center because each of the pans are equally heavy. In this case, the pans are empty.
empty so the pointer is at the center now look here in this picture you can see that one of the pan has carrot and the other one is empty so it means the pan which is carrying the carrot is heavier than the other one so that's why look at the pointer yes the pointer is moving towards the side where there is heavy weight the pointer moves towards the side which is heavier now look here in this picture you can see that there are two carrots one on each of the pan and the pointer is at the middle it means both the pans are equally heavy so in this case a monkey can divide the carrots among the rabbits now look here in this case there are two carrots in one of the pan and the pointer is again moves toward that side and the pan which is holding more carrot moves down like the seesaw yes the pan which carries more weight and which is heavy will move down now look here again the balance is equally heavy from both sides both the pans have two carrots which are equal in weight so the pointer is at the middle so in this way the monkey can put the carrots on both the pans and wait for the pointer to be at the middle so that both the point, both the pans are equally heavy in this way both the rabbits will get equal amount of carrots now look at this picture fruit seller uses pan balance to measure weight of fruits whenever you go to a fruit seller fruit seller uses this pan balance you can see in the picture a pan balance is shown so a fruit seller uses pan balance to measure the weight of the fruit now children look at this picture here you can see a wet potato seller is using balance to weight potatoes have you ever gone to buy vegetables with your parents you must have seen these type of fruit vendors who uses this type of balance to weight potatoes or any other fruits now look here you can see there are two pans in one of the pan there are potatoes and on the other pan there are not potatoes there are there is a weight and this weight is of 2 kg 2 kg is written on that weight it means this weight is of 2 kg and these potatoes are also of 2 kg you can see that both the pans are hanging in the same position it means they are equally heavy in this way the shopkeepers uses this balance to weigh objects and give it to the customers now look at the picture you can see that this is also a weighing balance and one of the pan is bigger in size and the other one is small now the smaller one is for the weights you can see there are different quantities of weight from bigger to smaller in size they are of different weight like 500 g 1 kg 2 kg and 5 kg so these are used to weight objects of different quantities like 2 kg 3 kg etc so shopkeeper use these type of balance to measure things and then sell it now look here in the picture you can see that in the first picture there are carrots in the weighing balance in the second there are apples and in the third there are vegetables so vegetable seller uses these type of balance 
Now children, do you like carrots? Yes. You also must like gajar ka halwa. So in winters, your parents buy carrots for the family. How much do they buy at one time? Do you have any idea? Just ask them. Just give a rough idea of it. It can be 1 kg or 2 kg. So next time when you go to the shop, just see if they are using the weights properly or not. Whether the two balance are equally heavy or not. Now how does the vegetable seller weigh the carrots? A vegetable seller weighs carrots with the help of a weighing instrument. And this weighing instrument is weighing balance or a pan balance in which one of the pan you have vegetable and on the other you have weight. Now here is one more story from your book. How much can Simran carry? Children look at the picture carefully. Here you can see there is a man and a girl and a lady. The small girl is Simran and this is her father. Simran's father needs to move some things from the store of their house to the kitchen. So this is the storeroom of their house and they have to move the things from the storeroom to the kitchen. And Simran wants to help her father. He like you also help your parents in carrying things whenever you move from one place to another you use to carry things you want to help your parents in the same way Simran wants to help her father now just look at the picture and tell which bag Simran can carry observe the picture carefully and then answer Children, have you got your answer? Now look here. Yes, Simran can carry salt, packet of ghee and maybe cooking oil. Now because she is small, so she cannot carry heavy weight, heavy bags. Now guess what item Simran's father can carry? Simran's father is bigger in size so he can carry more things. Okay, as your parents also can carry more things than you. They can carry heavier things than you. So, look at the picture and tell what items can Simran's father carry. Yes, you can see that he can carry this 5 kg atta, this can of rice and he is also holding a big tin can. So, he can carry rice, atta and big tin cans. Now, guess what item Simran's mother can carry? She is also bigger enough so she can also carry sugar, dal, atta and rice. So in this way all the members can carry things and help in the movement of these things from the storeroom to the kitchen. You can also see that Simran has a younger sister. Children, can you guess what things can her sister carry? She is quite small so maybe she cannot carry anything or very small thing like a packet of biscuits. Now, children do you know an ant can carry a very heavy load bigger than its size. This ant is saying I can carry a grain of sugar bigger than myself. You know that ants are quite hard working. So they carry things bigger than their size. Now children, here is a exercise for you. Match the picture of animals with the things it can carry.
carry. You know that animal which are smaller in size will carry lighter things, things which are not too heavy to hold. So you can see that there is a bird, there is a donkey, an elephant and a dog. And in the second part you can see there is a packet of sugar, then a ball, a leaf and logs of wood. Now you can see that the bird cannot hold a ball or log of wood or a sugar. It means small person, small creature can hold smaller thing. So let's see what's the answer. Just look at the picture and try to find out yourself. Yes, now look here. This bird can carry a leaf and this donkey can carry this sack of sugar. Elephant can carry heavy logs of wood because elephant is quite bigger inside. So it can carry bigger things. And this dog can carry a ball. So it means heavy loads can be carried by bigger creatures, big animals or bigger creatures. And everyone has different capacity of carrying things, holding things. Now children, we will have an exercise for you. Complete the sentence, use the word banks to help you. Now children, look here. You can see in the A part of this question, there is a weighing balance. So you can see that I had told you the part which is high will, will go down. From the picture, you can see that apple is heavier than the cherry. That's why that part of the balance is has gone down. So, the dash is heavier than the dash. So, what should be the answer? The apple is heavier than the cherry. And the second sentence, the cherry is lighter than the apple. Now, the B part of it, the dash is heavier than the dash. Now, here you can see that there are three fruits. So you can make sentences accordingly. From the first picture you can see that there is apple in one pan and peach in the other. So the apple is heavier than the peach and the peach is lighter than the apple. From the second picture you can say the pear is heavier than the peach and the peach is lighter than the pear. So, which is the lightest of these three? Yes, tell me. So, peach is the lightest. Now, the C part, the dash is heavier than the dash. Can you answer? In the first picture you can see both are equally heavy. So from the second picture you can make the sentence. The pear is heavier than the cherry. The cherry is lighter than the pear. And the last one, the apple is equal to the pear. They are equally heavy. Now there is a last question for you and this is the question for you which you have to do yourself. Things we can carry. Children, in this activity you have to think of the things in your house and draw the picture of them, these in this table. Like me is you. You have to draw the picture of things which you can carry. You can also write the name. For example, you can carry your bag, you can carry your books, etc. Then, things which your father can carry, things which your mother can carry, and at the last, things which your brother or sister can carry. Now, that's all for today, children. Thank you. 
I hope you like the video. Stay home, stay safe.